I keep asking myself a very, very uh, important question in my mind as to why Turkey still has not come up with a one billion dollar plus entrepreneur or startup. So the reason why I'm asking this question is because I think it's about time that we raise the bar and ask this question because the, this question has a lot of significance to it. Because if you can imagine, if you, Turkey develops a one billion dollar plus entrepreneur or startup, the messaging impact it's, it would give to entrepreneurs, to the rest of the world, and, and its impact on Turkish economy overall. Do you agree with this? Do you ask this question to yourselves, why Turkey hasn't come up with a one billion dollar plus startup? Is this a fair question to ask? Anyone disagrees with this question? You disagree with this question? You agree, okay. Anyone who disagrees with this question? So I can assume that everyone agrees this is a fair question to ask? So I think it's a fair question to ask because, I mean, we all know U.S. has plenty of them. <coughs> Germany has them. France has them. Russia has them. China has them. India has them. Korea has them. Israel has them. Estonia has them. Korea has them. Is it the second time? <laughs> North Korea, not yet. So if these countries have them, why can't Turkey have them? I mean, and I, yesterday, in preparation for this uh, presentation, I sat down with one of our uh, senior analysts, his name is Bertu. I wanted to come up with an answer to this question. And I intuitively, having spent 12, 13 years in this business, uh, I have listed some five reasons why we don't have such one billion dollar uh, startups yet. And they were, one, the population of Turkey. Number two was the GMP per capita of Turkey. Number three was the income distribution of Turkey. Number three was productive adoption of internet. This quote unquote productive adoption is my um, definition of, uh, so I'll explain to you later why, uh, what it is. And the number five is the funding. So I said, back to, I think these five reasons are, are constituting what I would call the market trap, which is the main reason why Turkey has not been able to come up with a $1 billion plus startup yet.